Hey Jack, what are we gonna draw today? The Fortnite Unicorn Llama. Yeah, I know you're really excited about this one. Yeah. <laughs> we hope you're gonna follow along with us. You got something to draw with and some paper. Papers. Let's start by drawing his eye. We're gonna draw it over here, top right. And we're gonna just, we're gonna draw it about this size. And then we're gonna put his little crazy pupil in there. <laughs> and then we're gonna draw his unicorn horn. So we're gonna draw, a curved line right above his eye. Then we're gonna draw an upside down tall V. It's gonna go way up high and then back down. Nice, now let's draw his nose. We're gonna start right here. And we're gonna draw a diagonal line coming down and then we're gonna bend it right at the end. <laughs> then his mouth, his bottom jaw is kinda of sticking out. <laughs> So there's the top of it. Now we're gonna draw the bottom of his jaw coming down and around. Then let's draw his jaw that comes down. And then we're gonna come back up here and we're gonna draw his forehead. We're just gonna draw a small short line behind the, the horn. And then we're gonna draw his ears. And it comes up about halfway up the horn. And then we're gonna come back down and we're gonna go past his eye. Look at that. Oh. Cool. Yeah, that's okay, you went a little far, but that's all right, we're practicing, right? Yeah. The most important thing is? To have fun. Yeah, to have fun. Okay, now we're gonna draw this second ear behind his horn. So we're just drawing a diagonal line that connects the ear to the horn, and that's okay, just come back down and finish the front of his ear. Yeah, it's all right, good job. Now we're gonna draw his neck and also his chest. We're gonna draw a curve that comes down and it comes really far down like this. <laughs> this is a funny creature. Yeah. Then we're gonna draw the back of his neck and it's shorter, but it matches the same curve. So we're gonna come down like this and then curve and it gets a little wider at the base of his neck. Yeah. Next we're gonna draw his back and it's just a short line first because then he has a wing. Yeah. We're gonna draw a curve that comes up close to the back of his head. Then we're gonna come back for his wing. We're gonna curve back further. <laughs> I know it looks a little weird, but it's gonna to come together at the end. Yeah. <laughs> now we're gonna draw the back of his wing. So it's a diagonal line, short. And then we're gonna draw a sideways V. Now this part of his wing is gonna come close to where we started. Nice job. Now inside of his wing, we're gonna draw another detail, another line. We're gonna start here, curve back, and then we're gonna curve down and match the front of his wing. Now we can finish his back. So we're gonna imagine this line coming through and behind his wing, and then it's gonna come back further to finish his back. Now we're gonna curve down. Square butt. Yeah, square butt. <laughs> Next we could draw his tail. We're gonna draw one curve that comes up and we're gonna draw another curve that comes down like this. Then we're gonna draw, we're getting really close to the edge of our paper and if you need to go off the edge, that's okay. So I'm gonna get really close and then I'm gonna draw a curve or a U to connect those two. Awesome, good job, dude. What are we missing down here at the bottom? His legs. Yeah, his legs. Okay, we're gonna draw his back leg first. We're gonna draw one curve. Then we're also gonna draw another curve that matches it right in front of it. And then we can connect those two at the bottom. Now let's draw his front leg. We're gonna draw a curve going this way. And we're gonna draw another one right next to it. And then connect those two. Then we're gonna do a short line coming back and we're gonna draw his other front leg. So we're gonna draw two curves that match these two back here. Almost look exactly the same. And then we're gonna connect at the bottom just like we did back here. Then to finish his body, we're gonna connect his two legs on the side and we're missing the fourth leg, aren't we? Yeah. So we're gonna draw two lines coming out and then connect the bottom. 
We're missing a couple details on his body. Let's draw the saddle first. We're gonna draw a line that comes down the side of his body right behind his wing. And then we're gonna draw another line back here. And then connect those two lines at the bottom. And it has a star right here, but we're gonna color that later. Let's come back up here. We're gonna add two nostrils. <laughs> the last step is to draw his harness. We're gonna draw two lines that come down right in front of his horn. And then we're gonna draw two lines that come under his eye. All right, dude, we did it. We finished drawing our, what is this thing called? Unicorn pinata. Unicorn pinata llama. llama. <laughs> but we still need to do one last thing, right? Color him. Yeah, he's gonna look so much better once we color him. This part we're gonna fast forward, but at the end you guys can pause it to match the same coloring. Good job, dude. You did awesome on coloring your unicorn llama thing. Did you have fun? Yeah. Now I hope you guys at home are gonna pause the video to match the same coloring because the drawings look so much better colored in. Now it's okay that our two drawings look different. Yeah. And it's okay if their drawings look different too. Yes. Because the most important thing is to have fun. To have fun and, and to, to practice. practice. Yeah. We'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Bye. If you had fun following along in this lesson, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the circle. Then you can click the bell to get notified every time we upload new videos. I've also picked out these two other lessons I thought you'd really enjoy. Don't forget to take a photo of your child's finished artwork and share it on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter because we want to see how awesome it turned out.